Welcome to our greenhouse. Today we're going to go over some things that you might consider before planning building a greenhouse of your own. The first thing you want to consider is location. This is critical before you even start planning on building your greenhouse. You want to have your greenhouse located in an area of your yard that is going to have the appropriate amount of sunlight for what you intend on using your greenhouse for. We are in Florida, so sun is more of an issue for us. We do have our greenhouse on the southern end of our property, which is where the majority of the sun, the most sun, is going to occur in this spot. And that is because we are in the northern hemisphere. Transversely, if you're in the southern hemisphere, I believe the northern exposure is going to be where you get the most sun. Now we have the eastern and the western sides as well. The east is going to provide the most morning sun, while the west provides the more afternoon sun. Afternoon sun tends to be a harsher and more direct sunlight that may cause some sun damage to your plants. So it's a good idea to have some sort of shade to limit the amount of exposure from the western side. Another thing you want to keep in mind when picking your location is accessibility. You want to have your greenhouse easily accessible to your house or whatever path you're using to get to your greenhouse, so that way you'll actually use it. If you put it tucked away in a faraway corner that's very difficult for you to get to, you might not use it as much. Also, you want to think about your own personal body frame. So when doing the dimensions, we didn't use a perceived plan. We actually stood in the space and looked at our own bodies and what space we took up and what would be most comfortable for our personal needs. Another thing you want to consider with your location is water accessibility. We ran this pipe underground from our access from the house. So that way we were ensured that we had easy access of water to our greenhouse. If your particular area requires heating or cooling or perhaps an electronic hydroponic system, then you're going to want electricity accessible to your greenhouse as well. You can do a similar method as we did for the water, but you probably want an electrician just to be on the safe side. So you found your perfect location for your greenhouse. Now it's time to decide how you're going to go about constructing it. Your first option is to buy a kit. And this is perfect for those of you who might not be so handy, as everything you need is included. They do tend to cost a little bit more, so if you're more budget conscious and a little handy, building it yourself is a better option. We chose to build ours ourselves, and it actually helped us as our process evolved from our beginnings to what we have now. There are three specific parts of greenhouse construction that you want to consider when making your choices. The first one is the foundation. For your foundation, you want something that is going to drain readily. We chose just to put some barrier cloth down and then pile some gravel on top of that. That was easy and expensive and relatively easy to maintain. We didn't have to worry about spilling dirt or spilling water or anything because it would just seep through to the ground and feed our surrounding plants that we have planted around our greenhouse. If you choose something more elaborate like concrete, you want to make sure that you have good drainage for your concrete. This could be done in two different ways. You can have little grout lines put throughout your concrete that will aid in the drainage particularly if your concrete slab is graded, meaning that it slopes to the outside. A second and slightly more elaborate method is to actually inlay pipe into your concrete slab with a centralized drain. And if this is your technique, you want your grade to be reversed so that any water flow goes towards that center drain. You can be as elaborate and fancy as you want to with your flooring. You can do slabs of stone, pavers, elaborate color designs with sand and gravel, but remember maintenance is something you want to keep in mind. A second thing to consider is framing. For us, we chose pressure treated wood. That way we could adjust, extend, whatever we needed to do rather simply by just adding more wood. Other options can be a combination of concrete in wood, concrete in steel rebar, the list goes on. 
but ideally you want your framing to be minimalized and your paneling to be maximized. And so that leads us to paneling. Our greenhouse actually started off with a plastic paneling. This was very inexpensive and worked really well for our budget at the time. However, it doesn't last very long, particularly in the intense Florida sun. So then we upgraded to what you see now, which is the polycarbonate plastic rigid sheeting. This is a corrugated plastic that works well for siding and roofing. Your third option would be glass. Now this is perfect if you have a reliable source of reclaimed products because you can use old windows to create a beautiful and artistically rendered greenhouse. The problem with glass is it does break and it's very heavy. So you want to take that in consideration when selecting your framing materials. So our greenhouse doubles as a grape arbor as well, as you can see by this huge grapevine growing up the side. It's working really well because it makes it easy for us to access our grapes and it gives us a shaded section for our greenhouse. It is a good idea to have at least a portion of your greenhouse somewhat shaded for young seedlings as they don't thrive very well in direct harsh sunlight. So that leads me to roofing. In our case, our roofing is the grapevine. This may seem counterproductive, but it helps us as we don't have to water our plants as frequently. The rain simply just does it for us. Now, initially, we had removable panels with screening, and I did this on the purpose of the Florida sun that I keep mentioning. The screening would act as a minimal shade cloth, diffusing the light that affected my plants inside my greenhouse and allowing plenty of ventilation so I didn't overheat them. We have since removed the screening, which gives us plenty of easy access to our grapes for harvest time. Another thing you want to think about with constructing of your greenhouse is spacing. You need to know spacing of doorways, spacing of pathways, and spacing of your benches. As I said earlier, we determined these dimensions based on how easy it was for the lumber sizes that we could purchase and how easy it was for us to access the areas we were going to work at. And finally, would our wheelbarrow fit through here? Because that was really important. In general, you want your pathway the entry to your greenhouse and your supplies to be anywhere from 19 to 23 inches wide. We, however, chose ours to be 33 inches wide because having some extra elbow room we found to be really helpful. If you choose to have your benches located on either side of your greenhouse, you want them to be as deep as you can reach. If they are deeper than that, then it's going to be difficult for you to access the items at the back side of your bench. Relatively two to three feet is perfect for that dimension. When estimating your overall square footage for your entire greenhouse, it's a good rule of thumb to decide on how many pots you intend to have in your space and always overestimate. So one square foot per six inch pot is a good starting point. Our overall dimensions for our greenhouse are eight feet by 16 feet. We chose this number not randomly, but because it was the easiest method for us to purchase lumber appropriate to that size with minimized cutting. So those are the basics for greenhouse construction, but from there you can go as elaborate as you wish. You can have interior fairy lights, you can have a chandelier, disco ball, whatever tickles your fancy. You want to make your place your place where you'll be welcomed to come and enjoy it time and time again. I hope you found this video helpful. Look up, there's another one you might like just as well.